how do we reignite that fire? How do we start to find the appeal, the power, the fire in our relationship that, that was once there? Well, this is exactly where communication comes in, you know, um, and, you know, just as a quick tangent, something that I also see with people now is that they bring this heavy set communication too early into the relationship when it should just be about fun and sex and, you know, not giving a shit and, you know, you know, yeah. people go, what are your traumas? What are your, you know, it's just like, that's too heavy for the beginning, you know? Absolutely. You can, you mean, can entertain it lightly, but you don't want to put that on someone else when it's, when you want them to excite, be excited by you and miss you and so forth. So, you know, it, it you don't want to do that too early, but when, when, when the communication starts to become really apparent, that's when you can start to have these conversations in a, in a lighthearted, you know, um, albeit serious way. It's, um, tell me about your sexual needs, you know, um, let, I'd, I'd, I'd love to hear about, um, what keeps your cups filled in, in these domains? You know, what are you excited by in the future? What are you building towards? Because we all need our own sense of purpose and drive, but mm. the relationship needs that as well, because mm. otherwise there's no point in having the relationship. If you guys aren't growing together through honesty, through love, through service to one another, perhaps through service to your local communities or whatever it is you do, there is almost by definition, no point in the relationship other than perhaps, sexual transactions, you know, 